Yeah, so we'll start off um, the three postures or kamai with the with the with the humbo that we've got. Um, we we'll start off with Otanashina Kamai behind us. Yeah. Muna Muso and Kata Yaburi. So those are the three three kamai. So think about those during it, but yeah. Um, we've also got three ukimi with the with the humbo that we practice. So one we start from Kata Yaburi and we're just rock, rocking down like this. And just doing an ukimi back into it like that. Frontwards. Um, second one. Starting in Otenashi no Kamai, we're just bringing it out here like this, and just doing a sideways roll, and back in into Otenashi no Kamai. And the third Ukemi, standing in Muna Muso, and just slipping that, that leg out that way, back in into Muna Muso. So yeah, he's just going to come up with a lapel grab here, and all you're going to do is step behind, and Strike them away at the elbow or the wrist. So, there. And just give him a hit here. Um, if he's still got his hand out afterwards, hit that. And, or you can hit there. So, you've got those three levels that I saw on that, on that picture over there yesterday. So, Jodan, Chudan, Gidan, you can, you've got those options. But, yeah, as soon as you grab your step out to the side, you wanna you wanna hit hit this with a I don't wanna hit him too hard, this is a padded one, but you wanna hit it like that. Rather than just try and place it and push it. Practice that slowly. If you're doing the placing and pushing thing, just let them release their grip. And just do it gently, but bear in mind the actual technique is that. This one here, same sort of thing, he's going to come up to grab me. But as soon as he grabs me this time, before he grabs me, I'm just going to push him away and place the humbo here. But you want his arm to be still out there. So, there, boom, like that. And then take him in that. Okay. One. Two. Step in with your foot. One. Two. In there. He's got his arm up or not, it doesn't really matter. So, so um, the arm up as well. So, if he grabs hold of me, maybe doesn't let go, and I've got him there, I'm still take him with that. So, yeah, same sort of thing as we just did, stepping out to the side, but this time just a little ski in there, a strike to the chin. And generally, generally, his arm will be out here by the time you do this next movement. So, and then just come up here and step behind the leg and put pressure on this, down there like that. And then obviously if you can let him go or you can strike him with a pen. So it's just going to be stepping back like this with one hand out, sort of pointing at the eyes. And he actually starts off with this hiding behind his thigh as well. And he's just going to step forward and go for a stab to my stomach here, like this. Okay, that's, that's the attack, okay? We all know that. Or if someone was going to stab them, stab you for real, they'd sneak up and they'd just put them prison shank you or whatever. But um, but we're going to do this for training. So, first he's going to come up for the stab, hit him, hit him there on the wrist, like that. Okay? You could hit the knife, but it's not really going to affect him much if he's holding it good like that. But yeah, so yeah. Hit him on the wrist first, and come up, take him with that. <coughs> One. One. And this is also a shield, so if he tries to slash me or something from there, you've got that. And obviously that's a strike as well. Okay. If I did this with that octagonal one, it would, it would hurt. Um, be familiar with that one, doing the Aikido and stuff, that, that lock there. 
Um, the next one we're going to do, um, so I say the Carter name, but the main component of this Carter is called um, Suki Iri. So, let's do it again. So this time he's going to come for the same stab, Kata Yaburu, that first, and into that. Letting go, stepping out of the way and flicking and guarding, that's the first first step. Okay. One. And then grab that, and you want his hand facing up, his wrist facing away like that, so that you can get the back of his arm. And you're basically making like a little triangle in here, in that space there, and then you take him with whatever whatever angle he's going on. And obviously this would just be a whack, a really hard strike at the same time. One, two. You can add your kicks and sweeps and stuff in there too. That one, yeah. This one here is um, Hoshiori, so it's, it's different. So this time he comes in for the knife uh, stab. This time you step right out here and you're hitting it down there like that. Okay, so yeah. Like that. Okay, so, but, but that would be on his wrist. I just hitting the knife but the training. So you want to hit it down like that and then catch it there and then step out to the side and strike up like we did but then you're going like that. So I'm being gentle by pulling the stick out but if I left it there one, two, if I left it there he would fall on, it, on an angle like that and that's, that's where he would injure himself. So yeah. so just for training sake we're going to pull the stick out so yeah. The other thing too, you want to, so yeah, so stepping right out of the way, and striking down with that first, <laughs> grabbing that and then stepping out to the side, so if he was to attack you with another punch, he'd, he'd struggle. Okay. So same sort of thing, this one here, very similar to the one just before this that we did, so yeah, so this time we're coming up here. And we just come, come out and grab the hand with the knife and immobilise it to start with. So we're stepping outside and grabbing that because just in case he does a slash after that, if he does a slash then there's a bit of space for it. But yep. But you want it so that if he does go to slash, you've got a bit of control over it. Okay? And then the other this time we're straight up to the face. I'm just gonna simulate it, but you can imagine what that would be if it was done real fast. And then straight into that. Okay, and just keep that knife out of the way. Yeah. One, two, three. So you tr you're kind of trying to throw them with this one one hand thing. It's pretty tricky, but I've seen seen some of the Aikido guys doing it. So another one is you can come in here and break it there. coming up here and breaking the arm as well as the face. Um, another one was just coming down and striking down on there and then, and then doing it, the technique. So yeah, so bear in mind like, like I said before, you know, you want to kind of get the knife out of his hand first before you apply any of that sort of stuff, otherwise you're sort of trying to throw a guy around that's got something sharp. Okay, and then um, this one here we can do, we've got first option, he's going to come up for a grab just a single hand grab, and you want to just come out to the side and just trap him here with this. You want to come out to the side here and just trap his wrist like that, and then let that flick up there. That's, that's how we'd normally practice this. But we're going to do a slightly maybe easier way of doing it this time. Um, he's going to grab you with two hands. Okay, so this time he's grabbing with two hands. I'm just going to rotate that, grind that down the forearm bones. If I've got that stick there with the, the edges, it's going to hurt. And you're kind of doing this, this movement. So you And then just let go. Just step back. Okay. Yeah. One. I'll probably hit him first. Hit it like there. Just keep
keep that one at your at your waist. Yeah. One, two, three, and then finish them. Finish them. Can I just ask why you don't <laughs> use that when it's available? Um. Good question. What the other hand? Or? Yeah, you. Yeah, you let that one go. You let that one go. So, yeah, um, it's just too. You could. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Definitely play around with that. You could, but you kind of want him to hold on to you. So if you do, if you hit him too much, he might uh, release his grip. So yeah. Main thing is you want to get that bend in their arms and get them in, get it in like that. So if he, if he pulls me into him, I've got him in that. Um, yeah, Duncan was saying, why do you do that and not just go straight into that? It's a good point. Another point was, why do we just use one fixed one hand? Why do we just leave it do nothing? This technique here, you want to kind of grind it in a way so that he's tracked, he's pinned to your body, like that, and then there. And then I might be able to take him out with that knife or something else. A lot of the techniques, but yeah, the, the key is to, um, for, for training's sake, just get him to bend his arms relaxed, relaxedly, so there's not much resistance. And then, yeah. yeah. There's other things you can do if he keeps his arms straight and all the rest of it, but, but yeah. So, yeah. So another one you can just try to strike down on that. Give him something like that to start with, but yeah. Um, yeah, this one. Yeah. Another one I can do that. And then yeah. kind of, kind of like that. Another thing, if he comes to get you, you can also do that before he even um, grabs you, if you don't want him to grab you at all. But the other thing is, when he's doing that, and you're up here, you, you can really, really smash that down and get that quite powerful to break his grip or whatever. So next one... Um